North Dakota first. Cattle that graze pastures during the warm months will be needing hay before too long. And for one Montreal County rancher, the source of some of that hay is something new that might catch your eye as you travel the countryside. Jim Olson takes us near Ross for the story. Jim Hennessy is taking a drill to these gleaming white tubes in Justin Lund's pasture. Uh, we'll see how consistent the product is. That's the biggest thing we're going to find out. He's finding out how the practice of high moisture bale wrapping is working out. It's got a nice smell to it. The results? The hay barley that's been inside the tube for over a month is moist and supple. It smells good. Cows will eat a lot better. Palatability is a lot better. It's pretty good, doesn't it? Looks real good. Rancher Justin Lund is new to this practice where hay is wrapped within 12 hours of being cut rather than being left to dry on the ground for 10 days or two weeks. There's not a lot of people doing it right now. I've got a lot of neighbors that are interested in it, but I think it's they want to just wait and see how it how it turns out. Lund says his first year or two of high moisture bale wrapping has been promising with cattle reacting well to the feed. They would eat it real well and then I could complement it with my dry feed stuffs and they would they always seem satisfied. Basically with the moisture in there you got a product that's the same as if you're going out into the field and eating it fresh. Hennessy compares the old dry baling to leaving a sandwich sitting on a counter for too long. I guess you're eating a dried out sandwich you probably don't much care for it. If you got a fresh one you're gonna eat it all up. Good. Is it? You smell it Jim? It smells like lunch to cattle anyway. In Montreal County, Jim Olson, KX News. The high moisture bales will be a feature at this year's Montreal County Range Tour.